these tools are integrated within all of the courses that I teach. I think that the tools really helped me to prepare for my public health career because of the real world applicability of them. The decisions then will become much more accurate, much more informed, and hopefully have better community health outcomes. So the program was uh, developed in 2008 and it was really developed in response to all the various public health outbreaks that were happening. So we had West Nile virus, we had Walkerton, we had SARS, and there was a recognition that we needed many more graduate trained individuals in public health to help with these community-wide outbreaks. So we felt that increasing evidence both across the system was very important and then having tools and being able to teach that at, at the student level so when they enter the workforce our fully functioning practitioners really would help decrease the time period from uh, problem identification to center uh, solution generation. When policymakers are looking for solutions to problems that arise within public health, they are looking for information that will assure them success and ensure proper community health. Without evidence, we start to lean on anecdotal information, we lean on personal experience, we lean on perceptions, and we don't really understand what the true problems happen to be. And many times the cause is multifactorial or is not as obvious as what we might first perceive. With synthesized evidence and information that we can gather and rely on, the decisions then will be become much more accurate, much more informed, and hopefully have better community health outcomes. In the past, students would go and conduct a traditional literature search. Within this search, they would have search terms and they would go to the library and, and gather data. They would read the articles and then summarize what that information happens to be. Using the tools that are available through the NCCMT, they're able to much more efficiently gather this information, synthesize it, critically appraise it, and come up with a conclusion that really reflects the body of evidence that is currently present. During my lectures, when I talk about the role of evidence and using evidence to inform policy making and decision making, what I do is I will demonstrate the tools in class and also talk about various things like the hierarchy of evidence and how you could go from a single study and, and that would be valuable, but to make policy or decisions based on a single study really is not quite valid. Uh, what we ask them to do is then we would go through synthesis and, and explain to them the levels of evidence and which ones could be more valuable. Uh, we also go through the wheel and explain the various steps of the wheel and within each step talk about uh, the different functions and how they could go through that process to be able to come up with an ideal solution at the end. Well, it was really stressed within the program that evidence-informed decision-making was an important part of public health, so a lot of our assignments involved using the tools from the NCCMT to synthesize evidence and create proper solutions to the problems that we are faced with. I think that the tools really helped me to prepare for my public health career because of the real-world applicability of them and the way that we were able to approach problems in a structured, step-by-step -step manner, and because of that I feel confident and ready to do that in the workforce. So these tools are integrated within all of the courses that I teach, primarily again because what we want them to do is to become successful practitioners once they leave the university and they can start working within the public health field. I would encourage anyone who teaches within a Master's of Public Health or any public health related program to avail themselves of the tools uh, at the Methods and Tools website. Uh, I've been able to effectively use this information to create assignments that allow students to develop solutions to real-life public health problems. The feedback I receive from the students, both anecdotally and formally through the course evaluations, is that they really enjoy the work and that they really enjoy the information and what they feel like is they are doing public health.